Hey guys, so in this video I will show you how to use a refire gun component to shoot other objects and demolish them. Also you can activate them and physically affect them uh, by shooting. So here's my gun. It can be any game object. You just need to add refire gun component. So this is a user interface and you can turn on ray along which it will start shooting. I set it to Y, uh, local axis Y. Uh, here you can set distance to shoot. You also can turn on show heat. So when you will move, you will see where actually it will shut your objects. Okay, so uh, I'll turn off. There's a bunch of props. I'll show you how they work uh, a bit later. So for now, I want to show you how to set up rigid components. So this guy, only rigid component object can be demolished by gun. So uh, my object is dynamic uh, and um, I set its demolition to runtime. You also can use pre-cached object, but in this case you won't be able to demolish object at the impact point. Uh, so I set it to runtime and uh, amount of is 40. And basically, well, that's it. Object is ready. You can launch play mode. And now you can, you can just make one shard. You can start burst and then it will shoot this amount of rounds or you can just start shooting. Also, obviously, you can initiate uh, shooting uh, using API uh, if you want to use it by your script. So this is my single shot and you can see the object was demolished. Also, uh, it is important uh, to increase your contact views in case you want to break your object near the um, impact point so they will make it even higher and uh, well let me aim let's say to this corner so as you can see it created a lot of fragments a lot of small fragments near impact point but well i think i need to decrease my impact strength so it will not be pushed so hard i will set it to very low value maybe even zero just to so so you see that it will be demolished here and i will just create single shot so you can see it was uh, demolished exactly where it was hit by the bullet much more tiny fragments at this point also uh, you can postpone your demolition. Let's say you want to shoot your object several times before it will be uh, uh, demolished. And this is when you st need to start using this damage. As you can see right now, my damage is enabled and my maximum damage is 10. And uh, my weapon damage is 16, which means this object will be demolished at the first shot. At the first uh, shot, uh, uh, you can decrease your damage, your weapon damage, or instead you can increase your object let's say i will set here 30 so it will take two shots only second shot will demolish object and again here's my single shot nothing happened and there's the second shot so this is how you can control uh, how object uh, will be demolished so let's say this one is glass you can set it maximum damage to 10 and this one will be concrete with maximum damage 30 so when you will start shooting all over the your scene glass will be shot at the first uh, will be done will be demolished at the first shot and for concrete you will need to use you will have to shoot it for some time so again uh, it uh, this object was demolished in runtime and for this glass I used uh, as you can see here I set here use shatter and I set up my shatter component to use radial fragmentation type so it's uh, let me let me shoot this glass and again you can see that uh, let me aim at the center I will create single shot so you can see it was uh, the center of this radial um, demolition was exactly where you shot it so you can change can aim to some other plates let's say at the, at the bottom 
here. And uh, again, I will create single shot. And you will see now that the object was uh, center of radial fragmentation was here. Also, you can see that uh, my object has two uh, demolition depth levels, which means that my first shot uh, demolish the solid object, and then every fragment may hit the ground and be demolished again. Uh, also, you can shoot it again. So let me show you. So I create my this is my first shot, and you can see that the object falls uh, to the ground and demolishes again. But you can then aim to some other part, say this one, shut it again, and it will be demolished further. But let me increase my strength so you, it will start pushing object all over. So here I will start just start shooting, and you will see that it just start pushing everything. So I can start shooting this object. And now I will shoot this wooden wall. And for this wall, I also use shutter component, but instead of radial, here I defined it as splinters. Again, you need to set here use shutter, and then it will use applied shutter component properties. In this case, it uses splinters with Y. Uh, direction for splinters and also you can see that I pre-cached all these fragments so it didn't spend a lot of time to create all these fragments in runtime all fragments were pre-cached in a wake and in, for in this example I'll show you how to use particles so for this object I turn on my debris on demolition and debris on impact uh, and the same I did for dust and this means that as you can see now, right now this is solid object and its um, its damage is set to 100 so I will need at least uh, six times seven times to, sh to make to make it to demolish it by shooting and every time when this object will be shot it will emit debris because I have set here debris and dust in the gun and I did the same for debris and dust for the object so thanks to this on impact it will create debris and dust at every impact and when this object will be demolished it will create debris and dust uh, at demolition so now let me show you so again I'll start just start shooting here you can see it creates dust and, and finally demolish the subject after all and you can still Continue shooting it and generate all this dust and particles. Very quickly, you can create some shooting effect and demolish object. And in this example, I'll show you how to activate object. So right here, I have, I already have uh, 210 fragments, a pre-fragmented column but every fragment set to inactive so uh, they just waiting until they will be activated also I set debris and dust uh, creation on activation and on impact so now let me show you how to activate them uh, to activate inactive objects by shooting you also need to set here in activation properties check box to by impact also increased by velocity and by offset so this also will be this property also will be used to activate them and also I want to show you that you can not only just move your well gun to shoot you also can define some any any game object as target I will use this target object so you need to set it here and now we can just move this target and gun will shoot it so again Uh, start play mode and I will just turn on shooting 
and then I will start moving it all over this column. You can see how slowly it activates every fragment one by one and as well it pushes it and I can turn off right now the breeze and dust just so you will see how it works just for dynamic So in this way you obviously may have already some kind of gun system. Uh, you just need to wire uh, this gun component to your system and uh, synchronize it so you will be able to use it to break, demolish and activate uh, objects which you want to shoot. And the last thing, the last example I want to show, this is probably again way ahead of its time. Uh, but just let me show you. Here I have a lot of objects. Uh, basically the same good old cube it, uh, there there are uh, some glasses here you can see the glasses next I have a couple of concrete plates this one and this one then glass and a bunch of wood planks and again glass use radial fragmentation type wood if use uh, uses uh, splinters and concrete uses uh, regular Voronoi fragments all of the subjects are inactive and well this is how it looks if you, I will start shooting all the subjects that will be a mess but uh, and you probably again you probably will not be able to use to create anything like this in games anytime soon but just want to show you how scalable it is and uh, how, how how crazy <laughs> demolitions and shooting you can create already right now so again I'll start shooting and then I'll start moving it all over these objects. Just like before, again, total mess. And there are one. Concrete wasn't demolished, so let's break it. Well, I guess right now there are let me select one object so you can see it already reached total fragments amount of 90 999 so that this is a lot of fragments and you can increase let's say let's increase strength to one and radius to 0 0.5 so it will be a crazy weapon start shooting Well, this is how it works. Thank you for watching and uh, well, I hope you like it. Uh, see you in the next video.